Now, teenager Brian Ungayan has become the first transgender contestant to win a Miss America beauty pageant. But is this right? Uh, some people on social media have celebrated Ungayan's win. Others have heavily criticised the competition for taking away a scholarship that was meant for young women. So why are the people um, defeated so happy for her? That's <laughs> the bit I find <laughs> remarkable. Cathy Lett. Yes. <laughs> as, a, as a famous feminist, are you conflicted by this? At times I am. Of course I'm all about inclusion and acceptance. Mm. And, of course, trans people have suffered so much historically that why wouldn't we embrace the fact that they can live their, their lives they, they want the way they want to. Um, I'm, I, I think it's funny the smiling. I mean, of course, uh, beauty, people who lose in beauty pageant, they're all going for gold in the fixed smile event. You know? <laughs> yeah. you know, we know that's fake. But I'm actually allergic to all beauty pageants. I mean, I, I would get rid of them all because yeah. I hate the way women are judged on their looks in a way that men aren't. I mean... But I'm not sure they were judged on their looks in this case. If, you, if, <laughs> if you're going by, like, the, the whole point, surely, of a beauty pageant is it's about uh, you are fitting a very narrow definition of Western stereotype of beauty, right? Yeah, yeah. You're thin, you've got big boobs, you've got shiny hair and all that. Like, that's what Johnny Gould is. You sort of get a bit flush then at the idea of that. <laughs> like, you quite enjoy it. Shall I carry on? Um, but, you know, this, this, yes, this young lady does not conform to that stereotype. So what if, why has she won this? Why, why has she been awarded this Miss America Beauty pageant. I'm no awards. expert, Bev, on beauty pageants. But <laughs> oh, I'm you're an expert on women. I'm not, but, well, no, but I have a view on this. I'm assuming that the judges that make the decisions are given a certain criteria. We're assuming it's purely on how shiny their hair is, how narrow their waist is, and all these mm. old stereotypes that we supposedly and should have moved on from years ago. But I'm not so sure that is the case. Can anybody tell me? Do, well, do beauty think, pageants I've... determine beauty purely as something well, physical? Yeah, I yeah. mean, you know what? Miss World has always had this idea of, well, I do a lot for charity and yeah. I, I, I'm lovely to my grandma and, and secretly peace. the judges are like quite fancy a bit of her, right? That's kind of yeah. how it's always been. You always think you give them an award if they can actually spell the, the country name on their sash. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that, yeah, exactly. The slightly That's slightly the stereotype, yeah. right? But what do you think, William? Is well, it, do you think they've awarded her this as a... As, it's a virtue signalling. Yeah, it is. well, I, yeah, I would, I would say so. I mean, I, I must say, as somebody relatively close to, to Brian in age, um, she wouldn't necessarily have been the person that I picked from that, that picture as being the most beautiful. But then um, I think in beauty pageants, you do have to sort of dem demonstrate a skill or something She's as well. She's also still so called Brian, which yeah, is an interesting <laughs> choice. Why? It's, 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 I've, I've, got, I've got trans friends and, 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 and the like, and I'm, I'm sort of pretty easy going on this, really. I don't, I don't think it's... I'm a sort of libertarian in most, in most respects when it comes to sort of social issues, but I, mean, I also agree with all the sort of um, biology stuff. But I think more, more importantly, um, sort of cases like these kind of distract... And, and, and I think it's what you say is that the virtue signaling point is, is so correct because um, when a competition like this has turned into basically an exercise and everybody's showing um, how conformist they are to the various the sort of the, 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 the nostrums of the day... Right, you know, it, and it just turns into people being judged not on their talents or indeed their looks, but simply on the fact that you'll get some good headlines yeah. um, from the right people, or the right people will applaud, or the right people will say the right things on Twitter by giving the, giving a particular result. It undermines the whole point of the competition. Competition, mm -hmm. whether that's you know a beauty contest or you know cheering on, you know, we've, we've discussed previously, um, you know, trans swimmers and the like in competitions, perhaps which they, sh which they shouldn't be in, um, and, and I think. As I say, I think this is just a, it's, it's a big act in virtue signalling, um, and I think it, it looks rather fast.